this year. Uh, we know it's been a year of disruption and challenge for us all, uh, but also probably quite importantly for us all, looking forward into, into next year and trying to get a sense of where this is going, what's going to change, and, and therefore what do we all need to do about it in, in our roles in procurement and supply? This chart shows us where uh, order book growth is rising faster than production. So this is the production shortfall, which is companies not being able to produce as much as customers are demanding. And that's most prevalent in the autos industry. Again, tech equipment, software services, machinery and equipment, it's manufacturing led. So the big question now is, have we got more, more oomph in the services economy to keep driving growth? Or are we going to see things fade after this rebound has passed? In manufacturing, it certainly looks like things are going to remain constrained for some time. And currently, there are 639 container ships uh, at anchor waiting to get in uh, to, to our ports uh, globally. That is twice the number uh, that existed at, at this point in time uh, last year. This probably links to both Chris's and John's presentations here, because I suppose one of the challenges we all face in procurement and supply at the moment is, so what are you going to do? What's, what's your strategy? What's your plan to overcome some of these issues through the supply chain or the systemic challenges, I think, as, as John described them? I think there's a lot of forecasts out there that are looking quite peaky. And I think the supply situation is going to curb global growth. Uh, and so be tempted to be more risk averse than, than gung ho about next year. So I think, you know, it goes back to that point about, you know, data, analysing the data, developing options and then putting it into action. And I think you've got to draw down on, on high quality data where it's available. Yeah, that's a really good point, John. And I think anyone in procurement and supply, you know, often they don't take enough time to get hold of the data. There's often data is available and it's around them, but actually getting it, analysing it and doing informed decision making, I think is a really important point.